Okay, we're back. I'm going to go ahead and apply bonding agents. And I'm doing this liberally. Usually about 20 seconds to let it soak in. And we'll get these guys done up in here. Now I'm going to take a different brush for these because they're small, they're narrow, so I'll take a Bendex brush. Small, narrow, you really can't get the material in there. Otherwise it just stays and you don't get anything in the void. Uh, and down deep, so I'll take the bristles and push them in place. Alright. Now this way you know it's everywhere. And I'm lightly, lightly just air drying it according to the manufacturer's specs. Okay, don't want it to pool. Now we're going to go ahead and freeze that with our bonding light. And do a full 20 on the back one. Now I'm going to add posterior flowable, same company, and we'll get that going because I want to reduce the, the ability to have any voids, just don't want any voids underneath my filling. Uh, just small amounts and critical areas I would say. This is difficult. It is a macro type, so it's got some. Actually, I'm going to have to come back and etch that lingual groove. I missed it. I'll do that on number three. I have to come back and do that one. All right, take an explorer. I'm just going to make sure it's down all the way. Wiping, wiping. I'm ready to place some in the, in the, okay. I'm gonna have you place it and I'll condense it. Okay, wipe please. Some more material in the box. Okay, I'll stand by. You see how these fluid portions coming up? I'll get rid of that. Wipe. And do the same thing the other side. Now I created this box. Not yet. Standing by. Standing by. Oh. Uh, we got a little breach here. We got a tear in our dam. Okay, so let's. Yeah, we're still hanging in there. I need a, a wipe here. Yeah. Okay, everything's cool. Okay, my wall's built nicely. Let's get these guys done now. Right here. Okay, that's good. Standing by. Next one, standing by. Okay, hey, see how that's standing by. Nice. Okay, we're going to go to the by.
Okay, I'm going to take a small instrument called an acorn. It's going to help me smooth things down. Like I said, I'm going to come back to that lingual groove on three. This, these are so small, I'm just using this as a device to push it back into the same pit. Now I'll take my Explorer and just get rid of some of this excess. Because we don't want to have to go crazy adjusting occlusion, right? So we're hanging in there. We got our dam is talking to us back there, but we still have maintaining. Okay, so we're, um, let me have um, a little more material. I want to put it in the base of number two. I'll place it. We have the large end of the condenser. Denser, please. So I'm just working this lower layer now in here, pushing it through underneath, trying to keep the rubber dam back there, keep it quiet. Just hand me, no, please just hand me the piece. Thank you. Yes, please. Condenser ready. Yes, please. We're curing next. Wipe, please. Cover up, please. So we're doing this cure, and then I'm going to fuss around with my rubber dam here to get that back in shape. We're going to pick this up on another episode uh, close to the finish. Layering is just that. You're just going to put in a layer at a time, building up the supportive cusp and the non-supportive cusp, avoiding the C-factor, and... Uh, Preventing any tooth sensitivity. I also have to etch this lingual groove, so you get the idea. That's curing here. Gold instrument. More material. We're going to make do with what we have. Hopefully, we won't get any more breaching here going on. Okay. Transfer everything. Take the gold instrument. More material, please. 
So now I'm building into the contours using a flat instrument. All set. So I'm pushing it like a paddle up against the wall. And then you can switch it and go this way. All right. And so you're feeling like a, a funnel. Okay. So we'll add just a little bit more. And see my rubber dam is starting to split again. I'm going to give you some excess here. Wipe. Here comes another one. Okay, gold instrument. Okay, looks good. I'll build this up a little bit more in here. Build that lingual groove. That Close the lingo groove. There we go. Take away some of that excess and let's get it cured. You can see the rubber dam is hanging in there by a thread. <laughs> no breach yet. No contaminants yet, so we're good. Now one more layer to put in there, folks, and then uh, we'll end this video. Staying with the same instruments, take a gold instrument next. <sighs> Packing it in on the flat side up against the buckle wall. Okay, that's not bad, looking good, let me flip that around, let's see what we can do on this side, start developing the, the lobes on the distal, here we go, uh, Falling off. Let me get that put back on. That one's falling off. I'll keep paddling here. Okay. There we go. Now some of that excess I'm going to keep. Same gold instrument back. I'll develop this groove. And I want to save this. I want to use it. I want to use it up against up in here on the lingual. There we go. I'm using a unfilled resin because I want to build in the anatomy. Now I'm hand, hand carving. I don't forget he has quite a flat facet, so you guys that are nathologists out there, forgive me, but I don't want to overbuild this and then, then I have to adjust a lot on the lower so I'm going to kind of give him back a little bit of his occlusion yet put some form of anatomy back in there. Okay. I'm 
Keep wiping, please. Okay, just get a little bit more. Don't forget we got to do that lingual of number three. That's going to be next. So we'll get this cured. How's that? That's not bad. I'll take it. That's good. Final cure on this number two. Well, we like to cure it a little bit more when we take the band off. So, but that's you know this is the important curing. I'm going to acid etch uh, the lingual groove of number three. Go ahead and go through the motions. We'll put a little bit on there. Pick it up when we're all finished. Dr. Jerry Cuomo. Catch you on the next video.